Hey y'all, it's Monday. I started off the via. I've already had my first um, fueling and I didn't record it. I recorded for a TikTok and I weighed in there. I was 322 pounds, 22.8 pounds. Before I got pregnant, I, I was fluctuating between like 297, 3, 301, 304 was like my highest. I think that was when I walked in there. Um, I've lost 20 pounds since I had him. Of course, he was 10 pounds as well. But anyway, um, I started after Via and um, I brought feelings with me. I really want to show y'all like the feelings I have if, you, if you're not familiar with Optavia. Um, but I bought, brought bars. I just brought the fueling bars that are kind of like granola bars for me to eat because we're headed to my mama's house. Um, not to her house, to her job because the girls want to see the baby. Um, so we're headed there real quick and I hope y'all can see the little monitor. I feel so much better since Billy put that in. Um, but we're headed there. I don't know if I can record. I think I just said that. Um, hell, probably said that four times. Uh, because it's her job and the people that she tends to um, are special needs. So, anyways, I live on a country road. Somebody can be like, oh my god, she's driving. And I'm like, Girl, this is right. Oh, it's so country. No, that's probably the only person you're going to see. All right. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? When I get back, I'll show y'all. I have fuelings, but I put them in my bag somewhere. I'll show y'all the fuelings, and I'll just kind of tell y'all what I eat today, which is going to be five of the fuelings every two and a half to three hours, 64 ounces of water minimum and 100 maximum. Um, and then I'll show y'all my food for tonight, which is going to be um, mac in a bowl. For the person that told me on one of my videos, they made a comment and was like, my husband walked in while I was watching your video, and he said, you need to get your wheel bearings checked. FYI, thank you because I just order those and they'll be in and we'll get those put on. So thank you for that and thank you for your husband. Lord, thank you for her husband <laughs> because I didn't even know what the sound was. I was just like, mm, Cord, I got kind of loud. That was it. Didn't even think of nothing else. And then I told Billy, he was like, let me ride. And he was like, yeah, you're right. She's right. They're right. So thank you to him. But, anyways, I'm about to get on the main road. So I'm going to get off of here and I'll see y'all in a minute. Y'all, I just want to say this. It's so weird how you think when you become a mother, like it's so freaking weird to me, right? Because, like, I'm like, okay, I gotta get back on Optavia or something, like, to lose this weight. Because I started thinking about shit like, if we run off the road, if we go into water, like anything, like, how can I fit out this fucking window? And I know y'all might think that I'm like just being funny or nothing. And y'all might have giggled right then. But bitch, I'm so serious. Like, how the fuck am I going to get out this window? I'm too fat. I started trying to measure the window to my stomach. Like, I think I'm too fat to get out the window. I don't know. I might get hung up. Like, then I can't save my baby. And then it's just, you know, like, it's so much stuff like that. And I probably, it's probably like postpartum anxiety still. But uh, I know. He's got an elephant strap to his little, uh, the top of his car seat, the little handle, and he just talks to that thing. I, I figured that out yesterday. Oh, um, but anyways, I started thinking about shit like that. Like, if there's a fire at the house, like, do you know how hard you're going to struggle to jump out the window? And what if that's your only exit with you and the baby? Like, you'll be able to get the baby out the window, but if nobody's there, you won't be able to get them out far enough because you're too fat to get your big ass out the window. And I'm serious when I say I'm thinking like this. And it's not like making me depressed or anything. I don't want anybody to think that's not making me depressed, but it's serious like thoughts about that. Like um, he has a lot of acid reflux now and reflux, whatever it's called. And I have to take him, he goes to Dr. Thursday. So I even reached out to the pediatrician because it's been so much that like two nights he it came up like while he was sleeping and then he was choking on it and he lost his breath and like I was so scared and like I flipped him over and started like hitting him in his back like to get rid of everything um, like they tell you to do and then my husband was like you don't have to hit him so hard and then I freaking flipped on him so you know it was a bunch of shut the fuck up but anyways um it makes me real another thing that's really nervous about driving alone with him because i'm not in the back seat like i think about bitch you're too fat to even jump over the back seat maybe in that moment i would be able to squeeze my fat ass through there but I'm, i think about shit like that like you're too fat to even maneuver like that you would have to get out of the car more seconds to get out of the car 
pull the car over, get out. Well, of course, you gotta pull the car over anyways. You can't just jump in the back while I was driving, Alex. But anyways, to get out, to run around to the other side, unbuckle him, when bitch, you're, you could've just been skinny, er, and jump through the back seat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's seriously stuff like that. And I just start telling myself that I want, it's time for me to live for my son. Like, be here long enough for him. Not saying that fat people don't live long, okay? I love fat people. Fat people, I love y'all. I'm still fat, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm always gonna be a fatty at heart. But it's just stuff like that that's really had me thinking a lot and want me to change a lot and knowing that I can stick to this and I can get it done. I am 5'9". I don't know if I said this earlier, bitch. I don't know what I said. If I said it before, just listen to kid. I'm 5'9". I think I better stop talking. Maybe it's talking to his elephant. I'm 5'9". Almost 5'10". Um, and I'm just like, nothing, my belly is my only problem. 250 will do me good. I'm good at 250. I was the finest thing to myself at 250, okay? I'm good. I'm stout everywhere. Like, my leg, like, everything's firm. I don't have a lot of loose skin and stuff. It's just my belly. I have a PCOS belly, okay? But I don't have PCOS. So, why? Why, God? Why you put the PCOS belly on me and I don't even have PCOS? I ain't gonna question you, Chad, but thank you for waking me up today. But anyways, I just wanted to get on here and say that, like, maybe it's postpartum anxiety, I don't know. Maybe it's just really how I started thinking, I have no idea, but I just really want to do this, stick to this. I'm 100% sure in my mind that I can do it. I'm like, you know what, I don't know where that ended at, but uh, my phone, I had to put on the charger. Everybody has an addiction in life, that's what I, I, I have came to realize. And I remember when mine was shopping. Like, everybody has an addiction, no matter what you say. Y'all, it's addiction to something. Mine used to be shopping. Like, I would just go out and shop, 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 shop. And then when I stopped shopping because I was broke as fuck back in the day, it turned into food. Food was my addiction. Food was my comfort. And I've never really, I don't really think I've ever said that out loud. Food was what made me happy. Food was what I woke up and thought about in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I didn't eat a lot of it, but it would be what I would choose to eat. Um, but anyways, we all have an addiction, and binge eating was something that I did a lot, too. Like, I would go get a, a, a big-ass family, a fun-size, family-size, whatever, bag of, like, miniature Reese's. Bitch, I'm eating the whole bag. I'm not sharing with nobody. I don't even know why y'all put share on the bag, because I'm not fucking sharing. But anyways, we all have some type of addiction. If you're struggling with uh, weight or anything like that, I just hope I'm gonna weigh in, weigh in with y'all every week um, and let y'all know how I'm doing. I just want y'all to find a reason to change as well because I'm pretty 100% sure that this is my reason. Like having him is my reason. The way that I think now with everything, I just wanna be able to save my life, save his life if something was to happen. So, I hope that makes sense to people. And if it don't, oh well, bitch. It makes sense to me. Okay? But anyways, bye, y'all. I'll be back. Okay. And I got my knit coat chair. I like that. You got, a, you got your witch's hat up there, Halloween costume? Yep, I think so, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I got the, um, the cape. The cape. Okay. The black cape. Uh-huh. Okay, it's like this way. It's oh, okay. Right this be my new one. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I like. Yeah. Let me turn the light off. I got it. Okay. Leave them with mamas, um, and we're headed back home. Leave my mama's work. Um, the girls, um, I think there is nine girls that live there. Ten. Oh, they're women. Um, they were so excited to meet Kinks, and I have to go back when she's at another house. There's like multiple houses around the um, subdivision, so I have to go back whenever she's at another house so that the other girls um, can get to see them and then the guys can see them. I don't think the guys be like as excited as the girls. Uh, I didn't want to record much in there because like, you know, privacy. I don't know how that works, but I didn't just want to push a camera in nobody's face. Uh, but he did get this visible mama. He's sleepy. Um, like he might doze off. He's tired, so 
we're gonna head back to the house and that's it for today i did eat one of my bars while i was there um and then when i probably y'all probably see me again tonight like when i make my dinner and show y'all what i eat um don't forget i'll come back on monday and i'll weigh in so y'all won't see it another weigh in on this video just know that i was 322.8 pounds this morning and i'm documenting it over there on tiktok for the people that don't like the longer stuff you just like shorter you can watch it there but anyway um so yeah run away from so i just want to say that i am very very proud of myself because we just went and spent a few hours with my mama and she cooked them like a big dinner for memorial day and she had dry ribs she had wet ribs she had dry chicken she had barbecue chicken she had um deviled eggs potato salad baked beans banana pudding chocolate pie i didn't eat none of that i didn't eat none i'm so proud of myself i just kept telling myself no 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 if i can just stick to this mind frame i'm gonna be okay i got this i got this i got this this time this is my time okay i feel like crystal if you're watching this i told myself this morning crystal did not come into your life just because everything happens in your life for a reason everything happens in your life for a reason everyone comes in and out of your life for a reason there's no way she just was we crossed paths and it was like oh that was it <laughs> either learn a lesson or you know whatever so i, I know you're here you're here for a reason this is this is my time small time but i was very i'm very proud of myself we're damn near at home now y'all um so yeah i cooked my dinner i cooked a whole pack of meat so i'm gonna be having mac and a bowl for like three maybe four nights but it's fine because i absolutely love this it's a healthy big mac big mac without the bread it is so, so good, okay? You can look the recipe up online. Just type in like lean and green Big Mac bowl. It has like pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese, hamburger meat, dressing. Like, I'm telling you, try this. It's five o'clock. And I still have two fuelings left that I have to eat before I go to bed. Even if I'm going to bed early, like my next time I eat will be about 7.30. If that's what I'm calling bedtime, I need to go ahead and eat that second fueling that I have too. Don't go to bed without eating all your fuelings, okay? All right, all right. 